No, why is this seven foot tree seven forty nine? Um, I know you lying. Yeah. Well, hello, who's she? Today is Monday, October 16th. Let's make it a good one. Okay. How are we? How are we? Um, I just want to say thank you to everyone. I don't know. I'm 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 feeling, you know, I'm feeling so good this morning. I tried to go to bed early last night, but I had a really good weekend. Um, it's cold outside today for me. You know, I do not care for the you know 106 and 104 and all that, but ew, 54, 54. So. I'm enjoying the crisp morning though. This is a very busy week for me at work, so I, I have to act right all week. Pretty much all week I have to act right, but I have some time off, so I'm really I'm I'm really feeling good this week about the things that I wanna do, the things that I wanna try to get accomplished. So let's let's hit the floor running, okay? Now I don't know what the weekend is. Uh, the, I don't know what the week is gonna hold for me, but I'm going to make it a good one. Like I said, most importantly, take advantage of the time that I have off because it's very important to me. Like whether it's rest, whether it's meditating, whether it's you know getting my nails done. I, in order for me to keep my engine running, I, I definitely have to pour back into myself. But yeah. I don't know what I want to do today. I have some clothes. Um, I can't even think of the name of this place. You know what? My memory is really bad, and I hate that for me. I hate that for me. So, just small story where I feel like a lot of, you know, my memory actually changed. Um, I was in a motorcycle accident. I used to love to not only, like, ride motorcycles but ride with people and so I kind of joined a bike club and <laughs> was on a bike long story was on a bike in Houston on West Timer I, I know going super fast um, popped a willy and slid down West Timer dead ass in traffic And if you know anything about Houston and you know anything about Westheimer, baby, that's a that's a straight shot for miles of of people driving as fast as they want to, whether the light is red or green. Um, I was in the hospital for like two or three days, but I don't know. It's something about that accident that makes me feel like my memory got worse. Granted, I had a helmet on thank god thank god and granted i had a jacket on 
because someone else fell that night and he wasn't as fortunate. He did not have a helmet on. He did not have a jacket on. He had shorts and tennis shoes on and he was hurt, hurt. Like I want to say he spent like three or four weeks um, and that wasn't his first accident. He was, he was crash dummy. Okay. He, he was definitely a crash dummy because, you know, if four or five accidents don't bother him, he'd love a bike. I haven't been on a bike since that accident. I was terrified because rolling down that street, you know, trying to hold my head and, and keep my arms closed so that I wouldn't break anything. I was terrified, child. I was terrified. I was terrified. So I haven't seen a bike, but back to what I was saying. Um, yeah, I feel like my memory is, is really bad. But... I'm pulling up at work and I gotta I have to be busy like, I have to I have to get it done so I will probably see you guys later later today I definitely want to pick up the camera um, sometime this evening even if I'm not doing much somebody wants to hear me somebody wants to hear me chit chat but yeah I'm gonna catch up with y'all later give me some hot tea and be productive y'all have a good one Whew. okay work day complete and let me tell you something be careful what you ask for because you just might get it okay I left out of the house this morning it was cold you know, I put on this sweatshirt, put me on a little beanie, and um, it's a little warm out here for the sweatshirt. Anyway, I just, the sun is beaming. Maybe that's why. Okay, so I'm leaving a few minutes early. I was told to leave a few minutes early or that I could, so I could just go to FedEx. Um and drop off a package at FedEx. I really wanna go in, I think it's a Michaels or a Hobby Lobby up here. I'm looking for some resin. I hate this intersection. I'm looking for some resin um, to like make faux water for this arrangement that I have in mind. I think I showed y'all the flowers yesterday. The wooden flowers from Trader Joe's. I wanna make an arrangement. And I wanna see if they have it. But I know Michaels had a 30% off coupon. So if this is not a Michaels up here, then I'm gonna go to the Michaels by my house so I can use 30% off, why not? Go to the house. Um, finish messing around in my head. Do a couple of chores. I have to pull a double tomorrow. So. Not a whole lot. Um, I'm really looking forward to taking some time off so that I can kind of like start packing because what I learned the other day is that, okay, so basically, they, they have, they have a spot for me where I live right now. They, they have kind of what I'm looking for, but, um, you know, price wise, I'm not going to lie. Like, I don't want to overextend myself, you know, um. Things have definitely changed over the last couple of years, you know, just in terms of like, you know, my money, um, my bills. And so I want to still continue to have, you know, the same kind of freedom. Like I noticed this year. Um, hold on, y'all, because I don't want to have an accident. OK, so I noticed this year, like I traveled.
but I really didn't get to travel like as much as I wanted to and I'm not I'm not even gonna say that I'm not even gonna say that because that's really not the case but um I, I just want to be sure that you know I don't overextend myself financially you know I still want to have the freedom I don't want to go pay like I don't want to go pay like a thousand dollars more than I'm paying right now like that would be insane you know um I am definitely upgrading from a one bedroom to a two bedroom that's a must I'm, I'm absolutely not going to get a one so you know that changes things within itself but again you know it's just me by myself um and and this even this move is not permanent would i like to be wherever i'm about to move you know again i definitely now granted that i'm happy because that that's a thing like especially with me moving somewhere new i really want to stay where i am um i just kind of want to see like they're kind of pushing the limit on my budget and so I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens. But in the meantime, I'm gonna I'm gonna run into Michaels. This is a Michaels, so I will get to use the thirty percent off. I'm gonna run in here. We're gonna run in here. Me, me and you, me, me and all of y'all are gonna run in here and see if they have what I need. Yeah, let's 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 run in this store and see what they have. <laughs> Okay, this tree is beautiful, right? But why is that tree $599? No, why is this seven foot tree $749? Um, I know you lying. I can go to at home, probably even Home Depot and get a tree probably cheaper than that. No, I was just inquiring. I have a tree already. The same tree that I've been pulling out for the last five years, okay? That's ridiculous. Okay, so, as always, <laughs> mission blown. All right. So as always, I, I went in there for one thing and came out with a couple other things. Um, the faux water thing, I think I'm going to just see if I have some extra resin at home. I used to make resin coasters, like with glitter and stuff, you know, like coaster that you, coasters that you like sit your glasses on to prevent you from like getting water on your table and resin is actually a really good base it dries like super hard um it is clear less the bubbles so you kind of got to like warm it up but i think i have some resin at home if not i'm just gonna order some on amazon but the main reason why i just didn't get anything related to what i was supposed to was because i did not find a vase i thought i was gonna go in there and i was gonna find a vase that i was just terribly old they got a Hobby Lobby. Um, let me drop this FedEx, FedEx package off before I get in a jam because I know these people need their money. So let me go drop this off really quick. I'll probably find a base in Hobby Lobby, child, because Hobby Lobby got it. 
if Michaels doesn't have it Hobby Lobby does but if not I definitely know I can find one at, at home okay I must admit y'all Hobby Lobby Hobby Lobby got it going on okay like look at this big ass tree for like 149 I actually want a flock tree I want a white tree um, you know one that I can put in a bag and use year after year after year and just change the decorations um, I do prefer one with like lights on it although after years they do go out but these are some really nice trees the flock tree is pretty the one that I like is 189 I have grandkids so Christmas hits different but we're looking for a base okay I didn't find anything in Hobby Lobby but what I will say about Hobby Lobby is baby Michaels don't have nothing on Hobby Lobby this particular store amazing okay they have a nice sale going on, like everything you need for Halloween, everything you need for Christmas. Like, oh. that was, that was, <laughs> that was almost too much. That was like sensory overload because, um, yeah, there's so many things in there. And then I'm, you know, semi excited about whenever I get ready to move. So it was just a good time. It was a good time going in there just browsing. But I'm glad I didn't buy anything. I'm, th I'm thankful for that. I do need to call. My, my nail lady does not work on Mondays. But I need to see, because I cannot be running around with a broke nail. Not this one, okay? So this is the second one that I've broken, but it's time to take them off because, okay, what are y'all doing? They've been on too long and they're starting to lift and break and my nails up under there are terribly long. So they're breaking, but. I'm not gonna be able to get them done till Wednesday and that's really gonna like suck but I'm gonna have to take them off like I'm gonna have to pop all of them off my fingers are probably gonna be sore and hurting I'm gonna have to take them all off tomorrow night when I get home from work that way I don't have to pay her to take my nails off I'm on my way home <clears throat> had a really good easy day I didn't do anything I, I, I didn't do anything <laughs> Alright, I will talk to you I will talk to y'all later once I get home. Good morning, beautiful people. How are we? Today is Tuesday. And after my little trip to Michael's yesterday and getting home, um, I had quite a few family calls and what have you, so I just did not pick up the camera. Um, today, I will be working really late, so... Ain't nothing going on but the rent. Okay. Um, I'm enjoying these brisk mornings. Okay. Even though it has been a little chilly to me. That crisp air. It's nothing like crisp air in the morning. And I don't know. I'm feeling the whole like, you know beanie wear tennis shoes sweatshirt comfy girl situation i'm feeling it as you can see um but i do like when it cools up a bit because i do love a sweatshirt i do love a 
you know, nice, comfy jogger set. I like jackets and shackets and stuff, so. We are definitely ready, and we are definitely buying things to get ready, so. I found some really cute things last night. I'm into those posh live shows, honey, because let me tell you something. You can get a lot of deals, okay? Deals and steals, as they call them. And that's why I like selling on there, too, because I feel like something it is something that somebody has that you want and something that you have that somebody else wants that's that's the way I feel about it so I enjoy it last night I bought a pair of good American boots they're like thigh high like all the way up there I bought a pair a while back and it looks like on the bottom they were actually eight and a half instead of eight but these are like leather with suede the good american that boot that's all the way up there and i'm only five one so you know it's past, it's past my kneecap but baby they are sexy okay and i got them brand new in the box for 47 dollars love that what else did i buy i bought a formal dress chat last night see that's what i'm saying I bought a formal dress last night. I don't know. I just couldn't resist it because it, it was $40 too. But I feel like sometimes I just like being prepared. You know, even though I may not wear it right now, it's like there will be a need for it. I'll go somewhere. I'll have an event. And... The dress is too big, so I'm definitely going to have to take it and get it altered. But it's like, what's better than just having what you need in the closet? Now, if you, you know, know fair in advance, hey, I'm going somewhere. I can go take it and have my lady fix it. Or just even in my spare time, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. The dress, the price tag on the dress was like $319. And she sold that dress to me for 40 bucks. And she really wanted to sell it higher than that, but I already I had already bought the boots. So she was like, yeah, let me make that deal, girl, because we love a deal. So, yeah, last night I bought a pair of boots and a formal dress. And I think my man, his sister, my man's sister has a birthday cruise planned for like the beginning of next year. And, you know, they always have these like formal nights dressy nights so that thing will come in it, it will come in handy at some point anyway i'm just um car chatting on my way to work because again not much is going on um <laughs> maybe i'll let y'all see me shuffle a little paper today because i've got to get busy i just have so much free time on my hands at work it's just ridiculous But yeah, I will uh, I will catch y'all later. Have a good day. And as always, you know, thank you very much for subscribing, for watching, for just supporting your girl. We're trying to lessen these days at Trader Joe's so we can so we can get into some other ventures so I can spend a little bit more time with you guys because I have a lot to show. I have a lot to say. There's things to do. But we're going to take our time. We're going to be good to ourselves. Um, we're going to take care of our responsibilities.
And that's fine to have you. Um, is Donna in? Yeah, that's me. Hey, Donna, this is Marie. Hi, how are you? Hey, okay. I think I have an appointment for Thursday. I need to come tomorrow. <laughs> I need to come tomorrow. It's bad. <laughs> uh, okay, so you want to... What is it, baby? Nothing. I need to get a full set. Tomorrow is better. Okay. Oh, you have time tonight? We can talk off tonight, and then tomorrow it's quick for you to come on lunch. It's up to you. No, I can't. I'm on my way to work tonight. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah I'm on my way to work. But what I'm saying is I'm going to try to take them all off so you won't have to do that. Okay. Yeah. Then I put it up by five tomorrow then. Okay, yeah, I'm going to try to get as many of them off as I can so you don't have to take them all off. Okay, that's, that's good. Yeah, yeah, I was going to do that anyway. Okay. Okay. Right. I'll see you tomorrow at five. Okay. Thank you, bye-bye. Bye. Child. <laughs> I'm like, you know. And I'm probably gonna hurt myself. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm I'm gonna end up hurting myself trying to take these these nails off. But because because they're kind of old, and because I know that they're lifting a bit, hopefully it won't be that bad. Plus, I need to cut my own nails. Like my own nails up under here are this long. So yeah, I'm gonna have to cut my nails off because I think that's the only way to keep them from actually breaking. But. Okay, that's situated. Nail appointment tomorrow afternoon. I really do hope we go to the fair this weekend. Like, that would be great. Oh, y'all see the way I'm in and out like that? Like, literally. <laughs> I think that was like <laughs> 20 minutes. 25 minutes max. The girl runs. And then I thought about it too when I was at home. I think I, um, I think I would like to share this. Like, at the age I am, I still keep asking myself, like, even why are you working at Trader Joe's? I don't know. It's something about that store for me. Um, even with like the little young college kids working there or whatever, it's like you know people have so many ways of donating and kind of giving back, and I love their mission. You know what I'm saying? I love to be in that store and be a part of the simple fact that I pull the products. I, you know, sometimes when I work in the afternoons, you know, the food, the food bank comes, you know, and seeing the smile on these people's faces, you know, even when we get new products and these aren't like necessarily spoiled products. They're just products that have to be pulled off of the shelf within a certain amount of days, you know, from, from the shelf date. And so I don't know that it, it kind of warms my heart and I've been to a couple of you know food places over here that you know do food drives and what have you so yeah I don't know you know plus it's it's a different social environment you know you can do a lot of things and be social and you know not only that but the benefits of you know discounted groceries and, and these great items and it's not a, it's a, my services aren't free so it, it just yeah it just works out but yeah I just thought I'd share that all right I am going to finish my drive this traffic this traffic drives me sometimes though gosh and today it seems <laughs> awfully bad. So bad that I'm about to have to call and say, yeah, I'm going to be running a few minutes late. I'm getting too old for this. What a night. I tell you what, I worked my ass off tonight. I'm tired, boss. 
I like working bread at night though. You know, I get over on my little section, you know, stack the bread, make it look all nice and pretty, and get on out of there. I don't have to bump shoulders with anybody or anything. Child, I'm going home to the house we go. Good morning. Rise and grind. Oh Lord, the maintenance people are doing their due diligence. See, that's why I want to stay. That's why I want to stay in the area I'm in. I'm not going to lie, they work hard over here. You know, there's no overloaded trash cans. There's no, you know, litter in the parking lot. Um, it's really a no smoking property so you know you don't see people smoking there's no cigarette butts there's no debris it's just hey you know good morning <laughs> that just tapped a button within me because I'm like you know it's it's very important like it's so much going on like in the world but your home your space you know where you lay your head where you are supposed to find solitude they're building something right there but i just i really want to stay where i'm at and so the compromise for me is to basically lose my garage and still be on the third floor. Took my nails off. Except for one, because she had just done this one last week and I would never. Okay? I, I would never pull a fresh nail off, but... Yeah, that garage thing. I need to park my car in the garage or or I can go over my budget scratch his head that just does not sound like a good idea to me you know now the old me and so and sometimes the new me I would be like you know what period point blank we want what we want. We're going to get that. Is that my daughter? No. Yeah. I don't want to go with my budget. I want to be comfortable. But child, oh me. <laughs> I'll be like, I don't care what it takes. And I really don't because I know for a fact that, you know, God got me. And he is not going to, you know, allow me to jump out in the water. <laughs> with no life jacket the moral of the story is I can swim you know I can swim really well actually now you know the save my life kind of swim <laughs> might need a little practice but I can swim I was swimming at a very early age so I know he's not going to let me get out there and I can swim and everything not be okay. But I'm a little smarter than I was. Because I used to make those kind of decisions and not even think about it. <laughs> like not even ponder the idea. Okay, so today on the agenda, my car is filthy. Like I cannot see out of my windows. My appointment is not till five. I'm gonna try to wiggle that around. I really don't need to leave during lunch <laughs> to get my nails done to even get started, but I feel like that would just help me out so much. If I could just go to the nail shop on my lunch break, let her put my nails on, and then maybe go back after work and let her paint them because I know it's gonna take her over an hour. what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in the office and I'm gonna sit in there for about <laughs> I'm gonna set my computer up 
and then I'm gonna go get some kolaches or something quick. I had to get some donuts. <laughs> Nail shop time. I don't know. The people I work with, they seem to be having a whole lot of fun. <laughs> and I'm feeling some type of way. Um, but I don't really have any days that I'm going to take off soon. I watched a video today by um, Naturally Sunny, and it's really ironic because she's going through the same thing, trying to find a new apartment. And I guess I felt better because she was like, this is stressful. Like, this is stressful. It's a lot. You know, your negotiables, your non-negotiables, um, just the anxiety of moving. Um, the fact that she's comfortable where she is, because I'm comfortable where I am too, but we're not going to talk about that. We're about to go in here and get something done to these nails, baby, because my hands hurt. My fingernails hurt, hurt, hurt. So this is probably going to be a little painful, but they always give me free wine. So, and I'm going to take off this sweatshirt before I catch on fire, because <laughs> it's a little warm today. It wasn't this morning, but it's a little warm today. But let's go get these nails done, child. And you know how I do. Shimmy, shimmy, shake, shake. All right. Back up on my grizzly on my bar. Yeah, yeah. Ask me how I'm doing, doing awesome. Yeah, yeah. Fake it to the G, that's where you lost him. Uh, uh. If you come around, it's time it costs you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't judge nobody, no, we all fucked up. Mm. I don't trust nobody, only God I trust. Mm. Over traumatized, so the squad might bust. Probably get your body, then the squad locked up. No, I've been in my head, I don't know. Nails done. Nails done. She did a good job. A very good job. I don't know if you can see, but she did a little design or whatever. Some days I have an idea, and then some days I don't. I'm just like, just do whatever you can just do, but. She's a nail lady, so she looks up stuff and decides how she's going to work that out for me. I'm starving. I don't know what I want. I really need to go home and cook something to eat. I just don't know what that something is. Like, I need instant gratification. Like, I'm hungry right now. Really, I need a nap. I know you saw me. I know you saw, like, sleep came over me just a minute ago. I'm tired. Um, yeah, I'm tired. Good morning, y'all. Good morning. Today is October 20th. It is Friday. Yay! This evening we are going to Joe Malone. We need to put some lotion on our hands is what we need to do. Um, this evening we're going to Joe Malone. Tomorrow I would like to go to the fair. Um, I don't know because tomorrow is like rest day. Sunday is work. Um, Yeah. 
we're waiting on news to see if we're gonna be moving or not something came up yesterday and I jumped on it I jumped on it it's not like my dream place but it will definitely give me a chance to have more space and get in the swing of paying more so I told myself even if it's for like you know even if it's for like 12 15 months I would try it so my co-workers back you all dressed up with a button down pull thing um but I have made it to this office so I'm gonna go in here and get her done and we will meet up this evening I'm going to take the hat off I'm going to take the hat off I'm going to comb my hair I'm gonna look cute this afternoon on the regular she is comfy Kathy do you hear me all right y'all have a good day y'all have a good day I'm not here for a long time because <laughs> I have got to get this work done because I want to get out of here today on time um, it's going to be an early one, but I want to share this message that I received this morning from a card that I pulled. Um, I do a little tarot cards for myself, prayer cards, motivational cards, but I pulled the King of Pentacles this morning. I pulled the King of Pentacles this morning. I also pulled the Five of Pentacles and the Death card and the death card is not always a bad thing um it also signifies rebirth or you know allowing things to be let go that no longer serve you but this king of pentacles i felt it this is the message so the light side, there's a light side and a shadow side. So the light side is overflowing material abundance, patience and determination, a confident and warm leader, providing for others, comfort and security, personal growth, goals reached, prosperity and success. The shadow side is obsessing, obsessing over riches seeking status, greed, a need to balance the material with the spiritual. The King of Pentacles welcomes you into his study for a heartfelt conversation about life. He's worked in his field, met his soulmate, found wealth, and now he's looking over his dream, manifested as he offers you one of the tarot's most potent messages in abundance and prosperity. The most important thing to be done is to enjoy it all. Enjoy every lesson, challenge, failure, and success. He reminds you to get clear on where you want to be to plan and envision. There is manifesting power in the longing and so much joyful expansion as you bring your greatest potential into existence. Happiness happens when you do better than the last time. And in the pursuit of personal growth, allow yourself the extravagance of desire. The rest is a consequence of faith steady habits, and the courage to cultivate enormous dreams. Dream your biggest light to life. I, dr I dream my endless potential into existence with steady desire and effort. I was like, go ahead, message. Mm-hmm. Well, hello, who's she? Okay. I lost my glasses. 
I lost my other glasses. <laughs> so I'm going to have to go and probably, if I don't find them in the next couple of days, I'm probably going to have to go get another pair. Glasses are expensive. But how are we? I went and cleaned myself up. Ooh, that's sun. I went and cleaned myself up and tried to do a little one, two, one, two. My hands are still so dry and I washed them and did not put lotion on my hands. Um, someone screwed me over at work, so I'm gonna have to go back by the office after I leave North Park. So I'm not exactly sure how long I'm gonna stay. But we're definitely gonna go see Miss Peyton and see the PayPal's. Um, I left out of the house and washed my hands and didn't put lotion on, so we definitely need to get some some <laughs> lotion, some body cream, some something. This traffic is terrible. I just don't understand how. Um, that's it. That's all, though. I feel so cute, you know, during the week it's given rough around the edges, tomboy, just, but I will, I absolutely will put it on. Uh, my outfit looks really cute. I just threw on some little, not really Debbie snack cake heels, but you know, because they're standing two hours can get a little overwhelming but let's come on let's 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 move it move it move it but yeah that's what we're doing so let's get ready to um have a little friday fun are you excited are you excited Let's, let's do it all over again. We're, we're going to do this every single time. So get used to it. Get used to it. Back up on my grizzly on my bar. Yeah, yeah. Ask me how I'm doing, doing awesome. Yeah, yeah. Fake energy that's why you lost him uh, uh. if you come around this time it costs you yeah yeah i can't judge nobody no we all fucked up mm. i don't trust nobody only god i trust mm. over traumatized so the squad might bust probably get your body then the squad locked up Look, i've been in my head i don't know which way to turn i thought it was forever but relationships are there <laughs> My grizzly on my barge, yeah, yeah. Ask me how I'm doing, doing awesome, yeah, yeah. Fake synergy, that's why you lost him, uh, uh. If you come around, this time it costs you, yeah, yeah. All right, battery low. My little feet hurt. The little Zara shoes is cute or whatever, but <sighs> they hurt my toes. Y'all, Peyton looks so cute. Y'all, Peyton looks so stinking cute in her house of CB. Gone, girl. Gone, friend. And, honey, the girls, the girls came out today, okay? The line, the line was long. The girls were dressed and cute. And that is so nice. I'm so proud. I'm so proud. I'm, I'm like a proud big sister. It was really pretty. She looked so cute. Um, she asked me did I want to go to dinner, but my ass. I got. I, I need to go drive to Louisville really quick and get this, get this handled. So, like a speed demon. <laughs> no, let me stop. No, I am. Um, I know this light is not working right but i'm gonna speed to louisville really quick she said the event was not over until nine and baby the line was long so 
it's probably people still going to be standing there but the mall closes at nine so i'm assuming it'll have to be over by then um she asked me did i want to go to dinner and i do i do so i'm gonna see how long i just missed my car wash up i'm gonna see how long this is gonna take me so i'll be back happy saturday y'all happy saturday we are at the fair we are at the fair tomorrow's the last day so we are going to get into it Okay, wait a minute. 
Where are we going? <laughs> There's a lot going on. <laughs> I'm having a blast though. I don't care what nobody say. It's so nice out here. Successful boat trip, okay? <laughs> It's good, it's dry. This food is not. Gotta get that exotic shit. I seen something. One of them had a fried snake. It just everything tastes so mushy. It's supposed to be boudin. Uh, about a seven. <laughs> about a seven. Or seven. Six and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Very mid. Thanks for the day. sleepy and tired and I have to work in the morning so it's been a blast I had a wonderful time but <laughs> I'm going to lay down so with that being said I will see y'all tomorrow okay <laughs> <laughs>